Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am revisiting a tool which I reviewed on the channel last year that is Rack to Riches. Earlier I have installed and used this tool with API based models like from OpenAI but in this video we are going to install it locally with Olama based models. If you don't know what Rack to Riches is, it is uh, a tool which enables you to build, scale and manage user-facing retrieval augmented generation applications. Retrieval augmented generation or RAG is a technique which enables you to give LLM a context from your own data. For example, LLM doesn't know who I am. I am Fahad Mirza, where I live, what I do, what are my hobbies and all that stuff. If you want your LLM to have the context about me then you would have to give it the data about myself right so the way we give it the data we take the data we chunk it which means we distribute it into smaller pieces we convert those chunks into numerical representations or vectors and then we simply store those vectors in a vector store or a vector database from there it is retrieved with similarity search it is augmented with a prompt and then it is given to llm this is a very basic high level overview of what rag is so this tool rag to riches enables you to do exactly that it is a platform which enables you to quickly build and launch rag solutions also you can access it through restful api it also gives you a nice user interface so we are going to get it installed on our local system and then we will go from there. One of the limitation is that there are few things which you can do with API based models with but uh, with the local LLM especially what I mean is with Olama there are not many things you can do for example there is no multimodal support there is no hybrid search support and then uh, you cannot even go with a graph rack and few other things but for a basic vanilla rack with olama it works and i will show you how to do that before i show you the installation of this rack to riches let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpu so do check them out Okay, and also if you don't know what Olama is, uh, I have covered it heaps of time. It is one of the fastest and easiest tool to run large language models locally. As we are building a RAG uh, pipeline from with the help of RAG to Riches, so we would need two models. One will be the usual LLM for language and then the other one will be the embedding model which enables us to convert a text into numerical representations or embeddings or a vector for that we would need an embedding model we will use both embedding model and the llm with the help of olama okay now let me take you to my terminal where i will be starting the installation so this is my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card which let me quickly show you this is the one nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen now i already have olama installed if you don't know how to install olama it's very simple if you go back to their website all you need to do not this one this one so this is the olama one if you go to their website you will see that there is a download button click here and for linux one simply copy this command run it on your system and you should be good to go so I already have it uh, installed as I mentioned. So first up, let me create a Conda environment, which is going to create a virtual environment with Python 3.11 so that we could run everything um, easily. Let's wait for it. It is going to take a couple of seconds to install and then activate it. And that is installed and activated. Let me clear the screen. Next up, just to Olama list and you will see that Olama is running but I don't have anything or any model downloaded. First let's download a model. I'm just going to go with Llama 3.1 which is a recent uh, latest model from Meta. Very very performant one. So this is the general purpose language model we need. 
and you can see that it has already downloaded it the size is 4.7 uh, around 5 gig 4.7 gig and then it is now going to verify the checksum and should be ready any second now Lama 3.1 is done next up let's download an embedding model i'm going to go with mx by embed large there are various other options like nomic and few others which you can select if you like let's wait for it to get downloaded and check some that is all done let me clear the screen if you do uh, olama list now you will see we have both of the model installed now okay so i have cleared the screen and now let's install our r2r or rack to riches in virtual environment let's wait for it to get it installed this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait and r2r is installed let's clear the screen let's create a directory r2r and cd into it that is done and now one thing you need to make sure is that docker is installed that is one of the prerequisites i have a recent version of docker installed if you don't know how to install docker i already have done a video on it so please search that channel very simple next up let's also set the permission for docker's um, socket or docker debug that is done and now let's run r2r with local llm support which is a olama because our olama is already running and we are simply specifying config name local llm let's press enter it is going to download the images and then it is going to start them let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time because it is downloading a lot of stuff there And that is done and you can see that R2R is installed and now running on port 8001 on our local host. So let me take you to my GUI in the browser and we will access it. And there you go, you see that R2R is running in our browser and then it is uh, going to log in you as an admin at the very start at local host. Click on sign in and there you go, this is our R2R here and from here the first step you can do is you can simply go to documents upload any document of your choice i'm just going to go with a pdf file where i have just given my own data it's a very simple file click on upload it upload has been successful that is done and then you can click on this chat at the top and then you can uh, talk with it so for instance if i just quickly take you to my local system and show you that document it just contains some information about myself that who is Fahad Mirza, where he lives and all that stuff. So this is what I'm going to use with it. So I'm just going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza. Let's wait for it. It says there are two sources and these are both of them are from my PDF. I don't know why it is given me two sources, but the answer is totally correct here. As you can see, amazing stuff. And then it is totally grounded in the resp response from my local system and of course you can create as many uh, you know documents as you like and you can talk to your documents it's a multi-user system so you can what you can do you can create your own users and then you can just simply uh, give them username password and they can access it at this uh, ip and port Another cool thing is that if you go to analytics, it is going to show you how many requests have been done and then users by region uh, looks quite cool. The interface around observability is quite nice, which you can explore at your leisure. So all in all, good stuff. Uh, I think pretty, pretty nice, I would say. Uh, but I think it's a new project. Still, you might face some bugs, but I think it's a good uh, step in the right direction. That's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.